So, we're now going to build a different kind of box. So instead of having our build box, we're now going to build our investigation box. Very similarly, this is just going to be the beginning of tools that not only we're we going to use in the class uh, here in person, but also as kind of a Kickstarter for you to see what you're going to need in your classroom. So, we've got the same kind of box we can put inside. A couple of things that are going to be a little fun are going to be this USB digital microscope. Um, so you're going to be able to use this, of course, makes sense in seventh grade when you're going to be using your larger microscopes, but also when you're examining the different pieces of a flower, you're going to send some students out, hey, let's grab a couple of pieces, bring them back to the classroom. Using something like this is a lot less scary to a sixth grader than looking at this big chunk of machinery and saying, well, yeah, I got to turn how many knobs? you know it's worse and then somebody can pick it up and try to okay. So this is simple, simple to use, digital. They're already familiar with using uh, cameras and such on their devices. Uh, this just kind of takes that one notch further. Uh, we went with the USB so this will plug into uh, maybe if your students have got Chromebooks or something along those lines. This can work with that. Uh, it can work with teachers, devices, and that sort of thing as well. So uh, wanted to check there. We've got a small digital scale, obviously, as you're uh, working through the different uh, ways to uh, measure and uh, do your investigations with your students. This is just something small fits inside of uh, your box uh, investigation. Hey, we're going to do some investigations. All of your uh, the individuals who are in charge of the investigation materials, go and get them off the shelf. Grab it. It's already included in here. Just a little way for you to check the mass of something as well. And again. There's a way for us to say, okay, six, seven, we're already talking about the need to understand mass versus weight. Oh, but isn't that a scale? Don't we check the weight of something? You know how it goes. If your school's not already using these due to the COVID, um, this is a great way for you to have fun in the classroom, uh, checking just about anything. Uh, if you are not familiar, something that's actually a lot of fun for you to see is that uh, a beard will actually act like a radiator, in case you didn't know. Uh, so you can actually point this at something like the forehead or the hair on the face, and you're going to get two different readings depending upon where you go. It's also interesting is that uh, the temperature of the beard tends to be regulative no matter what the temperature. That's why even in the summertime, yes, I'm still wearing it. No, I'm not shaving. Uh, but it's a lot of fun, sidekick thing. Enjoy. Now, something that you can uh, keep in the box uh, just as a log for investigations um, uh, or you can uh, recommend this for students to do in their own interactive science notebooks if that's the way that you do that. I like a dot matrix style, um, I like a dot matrix style notebook for this reason. If you've got a bunch of dots, not only can you write in it, put your letters, Drawing lines or graphing, far easier on something like this. And you don't get confused with all your grids. You can draw a grid in it if you really want to. Also makes it easy if you're doing uh, STEAM training where you're looking at integrating art into uh, your uh, science classroom. You can use something like this a little easier with a little less interference where you can start breaking down into quadrants. Okay, so we're going to draw a little bit of a curve here, a little bit of a curve here, a little bit of a curve here, and we're starting to get uh, more and more closer into circles. Okay, what's how much of this is shaded or not? It's up to you how you really want to do it. I just like it a little bit better than lined paper. Um, works really nice for that. Draw graphs, all sorts of stuff on this, and uh, it fits. It fits inside the box. Last component does not fit inside the box. A little jealous that I'm not getting one of these like you all are. Is going to be a wheel. And we're going to be using this in our next video. Extends out so you don't really have to go down uh, all the way to the ground. Got a nice little stand here. Uh, it will stand up by itself just like that. Um, it is in meters and not in feet. Uh, much uh, to the dismay of your students. However, it will be beneficial for uh, 
well, everything else because we use the scientific method and notation, and we like to make sure that everything is going to be in uh, SI units. So if you end up having any questions about these materials to put in your box or maybe ideas for other things to put in your box, of course, I'll be looking forward to uh, speaking with you on our Zoom call. Uh, and of course, you can always email me as well.